On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up a mystery package sent to me from October Toys. I hope it's Ichabod Crane's head. Feel me, will ya? Scott vs. Box! Box! This is a mystery box sent to me from October Toys. Don't believe me? Believe me now. It's a label that says thanks from October Toys. You're welcome, October Toys. So, shout out to them. And maybe they included more stuff inside, like, hey, go to our website, octobertoyswebsite.website. And our Twitter, octobertoystwitter.tweets. Oh, let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm so excited. It could be so many different types of toys. It could be pinatas. It could be pinatas full of bees. It could be a war horse. It could be anything at all. Oh, this is so exciting. You send me anything to my mailbox, I'll give you a shout out. Ooh, bubble wrap. They sent me bubble wrap. Who doesn't love bubble wrap? Let's take it out of here. And that's the end of the box. And then, let's pop our way there. All right, it's gonna take a while. I'll cut my way there with a knife. With Sir Stabbington. Yes, sirree. Always there to help me in a pinch. Whoa, this looks like a couple of things. What do we got here? What is all this goofy, goofy, fun stuff? All right. Okay, let's take all this out of here. More bubble wrap. Whoa, this is a lot of cool stuff. What is all this? Holy smokes. I don't think there's a note or nothing. So I'm just to decipher. This is like Christmas Day. Whoa, all right, all right. Everything's a little out of control at the moment. Let's start to put things in order. I already see things that say The Walking Dead. Let's put some of that stuff over here, put that stuff over here, and this stuff over here. First things first, this seems to be a carrot. A carrot man. And he's here, and he's got a grumpy face. Seems to be uh, upset, his tongue is out. He's orange. These kind of remind me of a, uh, were they mash? Mask? Some type of figures of old like that. I used to collect a whole bunch of them. He's even got a bandaid on his head. This is pretty cool. I like that little guy. And then, OMFG, Outlandish Mini Figure Guys from OctoberToys.com. Is that what these are? Series one. Oh, and there's a bunch of characters here. Let's see, there's King Castor and, uh, oh boy. Uh, it's hard to read. Dr. Decay? Fruit Punch? Ten Can? Wow! These are pretty neat! Let's see this more. Oh, there's this guy. Let's open up this one. Uh, toy? Well, this, is this is all new to me. These are new toys in my brain. Oh, gotta get the plastic off my fingers. And this one is, a uh, Toy Break. Look, it's like a newscaster man with a TV on his head. So that's what happened to Walter Cronkite. And he's holding a microphone. I like that. That's a cool little toy right there. And then here's OMFG again. Yes, the outlandish minifigure, guys. Seems to be a sticker. You could put this You could put this on a laptop. You could put this on the uh, back of a cell phone. You could even put it on a dog's tongue. And then let's open up. Oh, Series 2. Ah, Series 3. Okay, let's open up Series 2 first. Uh, includes five figures. Yes. Uh, and then, oh, here we got, we got, ah, this is, this is much easier to read. There's Puke Knight, Cryborg, Cuddleheart, Shirtle, and Grimgord. Uh, whoever is in charge of naming these things, I am a fan. Uh, manufactured in China. Oh, boy. Let's open it up. Let's get these off right here. Whoa, very exciting. Very exciting. And it looks like certain people made some of these. Like George Gaspar made Shirtle, and along with Kenjitron, and uh, wow, different designers for each one. That's super cool. And they made their own action figures. So ah, this is Puke Knight. I like Puke Knight. Uh, so yeah, these are these are totally like those figures of old that I used to like. These are way cool. They're a little bit bigger. So here's Puke Knight. I like him. And then we've got Cryborg. Who's not a fan of a crying cyborg baby? With like a death rattler. Oh, he's got little tubes on the back. These are cool. And then Grimgord. Big old evil pumpkin looking dude. Big old sharp teeth. And evil eyes all carved out. I like this. And then we've got... Oh, wait. My mistake. This goes along with Puke Knight. 
This must be... Oh, gross! It goes under his face. And it's the puke. And it's got feet and a face. Oh, that is intensely awesome and gross. Puke night so far is winning. And then cuddle hard. Big ol' it's like a Gene Simmons. Look at this thing. It's got a little uh, bumps on the tongue there. Ooh, a little, uh, little uh, festive at nighttime, huh? And then uh, there's like a fist and mouth. And then we've got Shirtle. Big old shark wearing a shirt and a, a turtle shell on the back with the fin poking through. And a band-aid on the face. It's gotten hurt. Wow, those are awesome. And then we got Series 3. All right. Let's open these up right here. And then we got on the back, let's see who we got. We've got Dr. Decay, Barbaranaut, Fruit Punch, Pugnacious, and Ten Can. All right. Let's move these out of the way. Out of the way. Uh, so let's see. First up, we've got, uh, this is Barbaranaut. Oh, that's pretty cool. A cybernetic barbarian. He's got all the robot hookups and the shield of the little spike coming through and a big old axe. And a loincloth. Oh, sorry, ladies. And then we've got Pugnacious right here. It's just a big old pug that'll beat you up. That's what it is. Pretty simple. Straight up right there. I like that. That's cool. That's fun. And then we've got Ten Can. Oh, I'm liking Ten Can. He's got the uh, eyeballs coming through. And then the tentacles bursting through this can. And he's got a sneaker where even toes are popping through. And then like a peg leg. There's a lot going on right there. I like that. Fruit Punch. Big ol' fruit punch box and boxing gloves and a mean face and the straw coming up top. Oh, I like fruit punch too. Oh, these are great. And then Dr. Decay. Oh, wow. This guy knows how to vacation, huh? He's decaying everywhere. It looks like he's got a, like he's a, I don't know, these uh, clams on him or something. He's got a mushroom med and he's a skeleton. These are great. Oh, these are amazing. So, Jonathan Walchick, George Gaspar, Charles Marsh, many other people designed these things, and they made them a series of figures. That's super cool. And then, uh, even more, it's telling you about the series that the characters include. It tells you who they are and where to find them. Octobertoys.com. Yes. So, you can go to Octobertoys.com. Oh, look at the artwork. It's all the characters, like, in a spooky castle. Oh, so you can find all this stuff at Octobertoys.com. But there's more. There's more toys right here. And then here's, uh, he's drinking out of Fruit Punch, and he is pissed. That's awesome. Look at this artwork. These are super cool. So maybe if you order your own figures, you get these, uh, you get these cool drawings. This concept art, if you wheel. If you wheel, baby. Oh, this one, they're both cool for different reasons. Now, we've even got Walking Dead. Look at this. We've got Negan. From Skybound Exclusive, from Skybound.com. Uh, image, of course, do Walking Dead. And I loves me Walking Dead. TV show, video game, and of course, the graphic novels. And I tell you, they're graphic. Oh, man. Uh, if you haven't gotten the far in the series, and you don't know who this character is, I don't want to say what he does, but the blood spattering is a little hint of the bad things that this guy has done. Uh, of course, you can get all your Walking Dead... Uh, books everywhere on the planet. It's not like they're hard to find. They make him so you can get him anywhere. Oh, and it's Negan along with a zombie. He's gonna bash his brains in two because he's got this big old cool bat with like barbed wire on it. So there's Negan right there and a zombie. A goosh! Kills him because Negan's a bad dude. That's awesome. So he's got these little standees right there. Put them up right now. Oh, fell over because he's drunk. And then we got Rick! We got Rick! Oh, he's got a gun, too. Now, see, this is a little different. If you're only watching the TV show, you're missing out because a lot of different things happen to Rick in the graphic novel. I'm just saying, you're about to see it. It's a spoiler alert. It's coming. The figure is made this way. The art is this way, too. He doesn't have a right hand. It got chopped off. So then we got another zombie. He's like, zombie, did you take my hand? Did you take my hand? <laughs> Shot him. Because Rick goes for justice. And then that's not all. We got Carl. Carl. That's how he says it in the show. Carl. Carl. He says it like that all the time. Carl messed up too. Spoilers going on in the graphic novels. He gets his eye and face like shot out of his skull. 
So then he's got a big old bandage right there, which makes him even more badass. So, let's open up these. I can't believe it. I can't believe all this Skybound exclusive stuff I'm getting. There's Carl with a big old, what is that, M16 or something like that? And his face is all bandaged up. And then a uh, zombie. And he's just he's like, Eh, do you know where the store is? I need to buy eggs. No, I don't. I'm going through my teenagers. And then kills her. Carl, did you shoot that lady? Sure did, Dad. Good. Where's Negan? I'm right here. Oh. They shot him. And then Fruit Punch comes in. That's not Fruit Punch. That's Tank Can. They shot him. And then Fruit Punch comes in. They go, oh, Carl, drink Fruit Punch. You're a child. Okay, Dad. Punch to the face. You shot my boy. And then all the other cops come in. I can't stop him. It's an overrun mess of toys from October Toys. Go to OctoberToys.com. Thanks, October Toys. You guys rock. Woo! Click here to subscribe so that way you never miss out on another Scott vs. Box video. And send me something to this address right over here. I'll open it up, give you a free plug on the show. And click right over here to watch even more Scott vs. Box videos. If you don't do it, we're gonna have a problem. That's right, you and me step outside. Oh, outside. <laughs> I'm not comfortable out there. Well, clearly neither are you because we're watching YouTube together. <laughs> Let's stay indoors, huh? You want to make some popcorn? Let's make some popcorn!